Oh my goodness. We've made it to... Livy Cape Hotel in Turkey, in, Cappadocia. In Cappadocia. So we've just done two straight days of travel after one of the biggest nights we've had of our life. In EOS, we didn't, we didn't film that day because it wasn't really much of a place. We were just stopping into EOS for Literally one night. For one night, just to go out to the clubs. Just to party, because it's <laughs> a party island. And yeah. we went there. It was an absolute ghost town because it's in their last week of season for summer and they're gonna close at the end of um, this week. So we didn't film anything. We just had a chill day, waited till 11 o'clock at night till yeah, all the hours came out and then boy. Did they come out? Everyone was partying on the last night. I think we jumped in with a- um, There was a few Kentucky tours Kentucky that were there. Tour. Um, I don't know, everyone just thought we were part of the tour and we just tagged just along. Got in for every, and it got in everywhere, which is really good. For free, I think. Yeah, Probably. so that was a big day. And then we woke up the next morning in a very sore state. Mm -hmm. And we. what made it worse was there was a four hour ferry to get us back to Athens. And then we we're gonna catch the train to our accommodation, which was near the airport, which is gonna be another two hours. And then the ferry was late, ended up being a five hour ferry. And then by the time we got back to Athens, I'm like, nah, I'm not spending not. another two hours by on the train. It's like six o'clock <laughs> at this time. And we're like, get us home. It's been the biggest day. We all just like, Nah, we're dead. over life. We're like, all right. Maybe we just want to come home. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is it. This it's is it. With the trip. We, we lasted 10 days. So much for eight weeks. Ended up booking a cab, got us back to our room. Woke up this morning, then we had another full day of travel. We had to fly from Athens to Istanbul, and then from Istanbul to a place called Kayseri, and then another hour bus from Kayseri to Cappadocia, which is where we are now. It was stressful because we had a connecting flight. The first flight was international flight from Athens, from Greece to Turkey. And then the connecting flight was a domestic flight. So we had to go from the international terminal, run to like, domestic terminal. The flight was boarding so when we landed. Yeah, Hoping... the gates opened 12.10. We were in, on the plane, first plane at 12.10. When we got off the plane, we ran, had to go to the other side of the terminal to get to domestic, hoped that our bags made it to the plane in time. So we didn't know that if our check bag was even gonna make it. Once we got there, we had to do the whole international thing because we weren't we weren't flying international anymore, so we had to do our passports, we had to go through the bag check, we had to go through security again, then we had to run through the other side of the domestic terminal just to get to our plane. But luckily, it was the same. Even, yeah. yeah, it was the same. Um, I think there was a lot of people on the same boat, so the plane hadn't even started boarding yet. But we were sweating bullets, running through this I'm still sweating. Running through this random Istanbul airport. Yeah, but we made it now. Our bags went missing, we thought. Oh yeah, when we landed in Aseri, yeah. the whole carousel went around and it stopped. stopped. And, we and like, our bags went there and we're like, oh no. It's happened, it's happened. It's happened. <laughs> And, and then, then the chick came over and said, oh, you were international transfer? And we're like, yeah. And they're like, oh, come with me. And then they took us back to the international side and said, oh, here's your bags. And the, I was just only two bags there. And we were like, why wouldn't you just find us at the start? Why did you make us go through that whole pain yeah, of waiting for the carousel? Yeah. But we got here. The travel was sweet. We're now in our cave room. It is insane. The people here are so they nice. They are so nice. Going from like, Greece going to here going is... Going from Greece to here, I was like, wow, this feels like my home. We want like, to stay here so, nice. so much yeah, longer now. Yeah, I would now. love to stay here like for the rest of the trip. Yeah, we have four days, there's so many things to do and so walk cool. around and now we're just going to do it. We're just going to go hit the streets. This is going to be the best one yet, I think. So, so. stay tuned, it's plenty going to happen. Bye!
day two in Cappadocia. We're in the beautiful Love Valley. Home of male male genital looking mound formations. I think they're meant to be mushrooms. They're meant to be mushrooms. They call them mushrooms, but I think that's the the, nice the way politically of correct way to say it. I think the other people say the other one. Which you could probably uh, use your imagination for those out there playing. But day two, we had an all right morning this morning. We just got engaged, no biggie. We got engaged, apparently, so um, where's your ring? We Doesn't decided look. that we would take it off in case... She's already flicking um, it. Just <laughs> in like case that. I lose it in here and that's like not okay. We'll insert a photo right there. Bing! But yeah, it was a beautiful morning. It was an unreal morning. The weather was yeah. unbelievable. They took us for a really slow tour that went down. Sunrise Kira, tour is what I thought we were going on. Kira had no idea what was going on. We had a sunrise tour plan. And so. I was like, wow, so we're going to all go up in this like mini bus and go and look at the sunrise from the top of one of the valleys and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, that sounds nice. All of a sudden, a Toyota Hilux picks us up, <laughs> takes us down to where all the balloons are taking off. We take some photos and videos there. Then he takes us up to the lookout point and there was people everywhere again and then there's all these little stations set up for will you marry me and we kept passing and i was like oh please don't be ours because i asked for a quiet um secluded spot and they took us down to the end a real nice beautiful area there's still a few people around it was still a nice little area they told us to get out to take some more photos there's this blue car there's like this... a blue classic car just sitting there like right on the view and he's like oh why don't we take some photos in front of that and i was like Weird, but sure. Yeah, and I was like, oh, we'll take some photos right at the front. And I was like, we're in this people's in engagement, like, set up. There's a picnic and a rug. And I was like, oh, I don't want to really walk in front of these people's engagement thing. I had no like, idea it was ours. I don't want to be the, yeah, those people that are right at the front of it. And then, next boom, minute. next minute, it was ours. What is me? Drop down. The rest is history. Now, yeah. we decided to venture. We've done a hike through Love Valley, which is, we got engaged just up there. Yeah. And now we're in the valley below. This afternoon we'll get some food, chill out for a bit because it's been a pretty hectic day. Yeah. And then tonight apparently our hotel has a Turkish cave party on tonight. We're having so. some sort of party, so apparently it's huge. Yeah, so we need to check that out tonight. We got invited to that, so we'll do that. We'll do and that. And then tomorrow we got to be up really early for some hot air balloons. So. Yep, we got a hot air balloon tomorrow morning and then after that we'll go on another hike to another valley and in the afternoon we've got an ATV tour and then another traditional Turkish dance slash dinner show so that should be good as well but that's it from day two stay tuned and we'll you updated Day three, let's go. Oh, Hot air balloon this morning. We got a pet dog. <laughs> Come on, baby. He picked her up on the street. Taking her for a hike. She tricked us. 4 a.m. start this morning. We had the hot air balloon looking over the whole town. Our pilot was an absolute legend. He started up high, gave us a view of all the balloons, and took us through all the valleys over Gorome. It was <laughs> breathtaking, unbelievable. Amazing. 160 balloons all up fly every morning. If the weather's nice. Insane. It's one of the only places I've been so far where the photos truly represent what you experience in reality. It's insane. Yep. But now it's day three. Chill day today, just going on a hike, and then we've got an ATV tour to this afternoon, and then we've got some belly dances tonight for some dinner. So, quick one today. Let's get it.
third day, another burger. Day four, let's go. Just made it to the Guremi Open Air Museum for our last day to kill some time. We did our first sunrise on the, at, balcony? On the balcony this morning, which is some more sort of experience, mm. I guess. Yeah, I thought they might have been a bit closer, but mm. it, I think the wind today was going the wrong direction. They went all the way through the valleys. If we were proposing today, oh, yeah. the balloons yeah, the were, been, were like off the ground by like this much. Oh, right there. It was really, really great. It was. The last day, just at the museum, chill here, I get some good naps and then, yeah. then we're off to Oktoberfest. So, so we're both, Yeah, we're both sick. We are. We both picked up something, so we don't like really want to do much this afternoon. Nah, we're just going to chill we'll out. Just walk around the streets and yeah, find little knickknacks. And then go to dinner and then off to gym. Danke. Danke schau. Danke schau. See you there. <laughs> Thank you.